But one of the most profound moments I've had in prayer was when I was in seminary. I was on retreat. I was praying with the nativity scene, praying with the Christmas scene. It was after Jesus had been born. I remember I went to where the Holy Family was gathered. Mary was holding the little Christ child. I remember just enjoying that moment, enjoying the peace and the love that I felt with the Holy Family. I remember when Mary tried to give me Jesus and I said, no, I will drop him. I don't want to hold him. And in that moment, in that prayer as it unfolded, I realized that that is what sin is, is when I say no to Jesus, I don't want you in my life. I'm fine just sort of looking at you from a distance. I don't want you to come right into my business. I don't want you to come real close to me. I want you to keep a safe distance. But eventually, Mary persisted because she's a good mother. I took our Lord into our, my arms. As I'm holding Jesus, I felt this great peace. And then Jesus, of course, spiritually, because this is prayer, took his little hand and put it into my heart, started moving stuff around. In that moment, I felt great healing, great resolution to do better, great affirmation of a lot of different graces that I had. Whenever I go through periods of desolation where I just feel like God isn't present or God isn't listening to me, I try to take my mind back to that moment because it was so beautifully profound. But that's what repentance is. This is accepting Christ into our life, allowing him to come close to us, allowing him to do some work, and having this conviction that we need to do better.